Hey folks, it's Andrew Kilpatrick, and this video will go over the step edit function in Carbon. Like most features in Carbon, you can use the step edit mode while the sequencer is running or stopped. Okay, for this first example, I've got uh, 16 steps recorded in. It's a two octave major scale, and it sounds like this. Okay, so the very first thing is I want to show you how to do step editing while the sequencer is running. So here's an example of just editing the existing pitches while the sequencer is running. One thing you can do is if you're step editing while the sequencer is stopped, by moving the position with the select encoder, you will automatically get a preview of that note. So if you want to replace a note, a simple way is to use the keyboard and just enter another note. So, so this fifth step, let's just change that. Instead of a G, let's make it an A. So there, now we've changed it. Now, well, one, we, one thing we can also do is we can put chords or multiple notes on a step. So let's try that as well. Let's put a major chord here. So now you'll see we've got three notes in there. By holding down, we're telling the editing mode that we want to put multiple events on the step. If you just press one at a time, you'll see it will just replace what's ever there, like that. So now, so now we have uh, a chord on that step. Something else we can do is we can use the speed control to adjust the start time of a step. Now that affects all the notes on the step or all the CCs. Um, so here's an example of how that works. We can use the gate time control to control the length of a step. That affects all the notes on a step as well. So let me give you an example of how that works. We can use the value control to adjust the velocity of a note. Let's see how that works. We can use the pattern control to adjust the ratcheting mode. Normally, every step will just play one uh, note, but we can actually have a step automatically play up to eight copies of the same pitches. So let's see how that works. Okay, another thing we can do is if we want to enter or edit notes without the keyboard, we can just use the sequencer uh, controls directly. So let me give you an example. First of all, let's clear a step. To clear a step, we can hold down shift and press clear while we're in the step editing mode. And now you'll notice there's a step that with, with no notes on it. So if we want to enter a new note, we just turn the transpose control. If we want to enter multiple notes, we can use the shift function and move the cursor over, and now we can enter multiple notes. So we can move the cursor and edit or enter new uh, events on the six slots. Or if we turn the cursor off to the left side, now when we control things, we're editing all the events on the step. If we want to use the CC mode, we can actually either record in CCs from our keyboard or our controller, 
or we can enter them directly. So for instance, on this step here, let's change the modulation wheel, which is CC number one. So in this case, let's not remove the data that's there already. So we're going to move the cursor over, and instead of making a new note by turning the transpose control, we're going to hold down shift while we turn it, and now we're going to get a CC. And we can adjust the value, and by using the transpose control, we can adjust which CC it is. So let's crank up the modulation. We've got tons of modulation. Now let's go back to the first step and turn it off again. We can use this same uh, slot, it doesn't really matter. And now let's turn it all the way down. So hopefully that gives you a good idea of the step editing functions. Check out the manual for the specific details about which controls do what. But once you get the hang of it, I think you'll find that it's really fast and fun to put in notes and edit things, especially while the sequencer is running. Thanks for watching.